No, nope, hold on. We haven't started yet. Now, now we started. All right. So, welcome back to the channel. It's Cap Dave, Carolina Marine Group, and I've got Mr. E. Packett from Captain's Choice Yachting. There you go. So, if you guys are in Charleston and need work done, that's the guy right there. Don't call me. Call Heath. <laughs> right on the dock, right at City Marina. All right. So, Heath and I are delivering a boat today. We left um, more lightning two days ago. Of uh, Stewart, Florida. Florida, and we're heading to Charleston, but we're not going to make it there because we've had some issues. Can you tell everybody why we've had issues? We learned a very important fact. What's the fact? We learned that plantain chips <laughs> equal bananas. <laughs> In the same family. So let's just do a quick rundown of everything that's going on. So we got down to Stewart on late Sunday night. Right. And we did our pre-trip, and our batteries were dead. Batteries were dead. Yep. We did a nice job provisioning, sort of. So we in sort a nice cold refrigerator. In a nice cold refrigerator. That was brand new. That was brand new. And then um, got lightning out here. Uh, and then we sourced out new batteries. Ended up being late. We couldn't use our battery charger, so we got our battery charger off. But the alternators are charging our batteries, so we've got plenty of voltage. And then, what happened? A couple of air conditioning issues. No, we lost the fuel front. Oh, that's right. And then we lost the engine to turn over, but we had to prime the engine. That's right. So there you go with the cogitation of pushing that start button until your batteries die. And it's just a matter of what's going to happen first. Is the engine going to fire over or are we going to lose our batteries? Which we now can't charge because we don't have a battery charger because we're dealing with lithium and we had to get two lead wet cell lead acid uh for, for that so and then we finally got off the dock got off the dock oh only to run directly into a storm no we got off the dock we were going to go fuel down in the cut the manatee cut and then i'm like hey there's fuel pumps right there <laughs> so we turned back around and literally came right back into the dock and fueled left came out, ran into uh, a huge storm, total whiteout, coming down through Stewart. Of which the windshield wipers didn't work. Oh, that's right. See, this is why we write everything down to log. You're, you're good at remembering so, this. So none of our windshield wipers work. So he decides that he's going to go out and fix the windshield wipers. Thank you very much for going which out. I did. Which I did. You did. You did. Soaking wet while I was sitting at the helm trying to drive the boat and see out the windows. So we got that done. And then... We were able to pull in, and then this morning we woke up to a screaming warm refrigerator. And going back to the provisions that we did, because it was a really short trip and we thought everything was sort of dialed in, we bought mostly like sandwich meats and yogurts and other things like that. And we didn't buy any dry goods like cereal and bars and things that you can use as a ditch alternative. So um, we've been eating what, pistachios? And coffee. Not the plantains. Not the plantains. What did they do to the plantains? So later on this afternoon, he's like, hey, go get those plantain chips out of the cabinet. I'm like, are you kidding me? So I go down there, I thought they were potato chips, and they were plantain chips. So I wonder why we're having all these problems. We pull into Jacksonville to fuel up. We're only supposed to take on a couple hundred gallons. We call Morningstar. They're out of diesel. Now we can't make it to Charleston. And I realized that he has plantains. I literally go down and take the plantains and toss them overboard. And so far, oh, and then we realize as soon as we come out of Jacksonville that we have a pressure sensor error on our starboard engine for cooling. So we realize that we have a leak in one of our uh, manifolds on our starboard side. So now we are limping through lightning storms up to Hilton Head. And you can see all the storms right there. And that's our track right there. We got uh, 15 more miles to go to the entrance um, of um, Kybe, which is uh, where we're gonna head into Hilton Head. Arrival 6.30, we probably got like another half hour for lightning. This guy right here, while that storm is moving slow, that storm is out running us. That storm is going to be right at Tyvee Road when we get there. So, more, more good stuff. 
So we're gonna come into Tybee Roads right when we get pummeled by a thunder lightning storm. So that's pretty much what we got going on. I'll give you an update when we make it to Hilton Head. All right, say bye Heath. Captain's Choice Yachting.